Hello again, welcome back to Joe's Home Flavors. So today we're gonna to be cooking eggplant parmigiana. I'm Joe Silva and I'm gonna tell you how to make it. So for our recipe today, uh, we're gonna to be needing some uh, aubergines or eggplants. We're gonna be needing some eggs, some parmesan um, parmigiano um, cheese. Some, uh, I have some uh, um, cheddar cheese here as well. Uh, some flour, some eggs, um, and then uh, obviously some uh, salt and pepper. And then for our for our sauce, for our tomato sauce, we need. I already have um, uh, some uh, chopped tomatoes here, and I'm going to be using some, uh, some adding some um, basil and some garlic, and obviously seasoned as well. So let's get on with our recipe. So the first thing we need to do is to take care of our um, eggplant. So I'm going to slice the end of it off, and then just slice it a uh, um, half inch slices and we're going to place them on a bowl with uh, some salt and some water we need to uh, hydrate this um, this uh, eggplant but we also need it to um, to lose some some of its bitterness so we're going to leave it here on this salty water for a little bit and another way to um, to do the the eggplant rather than slicing it across like like we did that one do it this way as i'm going to be doing now Depending on uh, what sort of uh, dish you're going to be using to take it to the oven and uh, what sort of style of uh, mounting the whole thing you want to adopt. So they should stay there for a little bit, not too long, just enough to uh, soak them a little bit in that salt, salty water and also to, to get rid of that bitterness, um, a little bit of that bitterness of the taste of the eggplant, okay? So just a little bit there. As that is going, we're going to uh, take care of our uh, sauce. So we have uh, about uh, 350 grams of uh, chopped tomatoes there. Uh, you can do that with the uh, tin tomatoes or if you want to uh, chop your own, uh, just peel some tomatoes and, uh, and cut them into a, a sort of a gross um, sauce. And now we're going to add some stuff to it. I have some um, um, basil leaves here, just uh, cut it finely. So we're going to add this to our tomato, like that. I'm going to be doing some uh, garlic as well. We're going to add our garlic as well. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Two pinches. And a little bit of this black pepper as well. mixed together. Now that sauce is going to um, sit there for a little bit and just uh, gain that um, incorporate all those all those flavors okay this is also a very good uh, sauce for uh, pizza base okay so we're gonna put that aside a little bit so we're gonna uh, whisk our eggs and a little bit of pepper as well salt so we have our whisk eggs and we have our flour uh, in place and now we need to get these um, eggplant slices out of here so we're going to place them on a paper towel so that they soak off that um, that water as they soak off we can then transfer them to a plate uh, the water became um, a little bit darker because it uh, it washed off some of the stuff that we don't want uh, from the part from the, um, the eggplant. So I've seasoned the, the eggs and uh, I've um, seasoned the, the flour as well with a little bit of, um, of salt. And now we're going to start getting these coated with, uh, with this flour. Just coat them like that. And uh, and nice, nice and flowery in there. Any excess should take out. 
and then a few more. I'm going to try that um, oil. Yeah, I think our oil is ready. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit now. And uh, we're going to start getting these things on there. So, you've been in the flour, you go on the, on the egg like that. start flipping them. We want them a little bit golden. They should uh, they should cook for two three minutes on each side at a uh, medium heat uh, sort of uh, temperature on the oil. But once they cook you need to transfer them to a plate with uh, some paper towel so they soak all that oil that we don't want. Okay, so uh, now comes the, the assembly part. Um, our, our eggplant is, uh, is fried and uh, it's just uh, soaking off uh, that excess oil. And now we're going to start preparing our, um, our dish to go to the oven. And as it is now, uh, I've just started my oven at 200 degrees so I can have it uh, preheated. And I'm now going to start uh, assembling the, the dish itself, okay? So, we take our tomato. Uh, which is now nice and flavor, full of flavor. Okay, so we get all that, all that sauce down there. Just spread it around. I'm doing this on the on the um, uh, one tray, but you can do this uh, obviously if you have um, oven going dishes, but as in individual dishes, you can do that as well. Obviously, uh, just be be aware that it, it will probably cook faster. Uh, so be aware of the temperature versus the time that you live in the oven. So we have our base, uh, our uh, tomato base, and uh, now we're going to start getting our aubergines on there. Now, at this point, what I normally do is to get, so this is, this is just um, um, a cheddar, um, which is not even uh, grated, it's, it's just uh, chopped uh, in tiny little pieces. So, I'll, I'm just going to get some of those there. Okay, and now I'm going to go on with um, with our parmesan. Parmesan. Here we are. These you can you can just eat them these like that if you want. If um, they're really really tasty now because I seasoned the the, the flour and the eggs, and uh, so yeah they they got their own their own flavor already. But obviously when the whole thing comes together it's going to be like in your mouth right so we have all our um, eggplants on there now a little bit more of that cheddar this is normally uh, or traditionally made with the pecorino cheese uh, which i don't have and i think cheddar this particular one um, does um, also a, a good uh, representation of what cheese should be okay so i got all my cheese in there and now Obviously, it's called Parmesan, so it needs some Parmesan. So, I'm going to get my grater, which is here, and I'm going to grate some of that uh, Parmesan on top of that. Our dish is now ready to, to go to the oven. It should cook for about uh, between 20 to 30 minutes, uh, or until golden brown on, on top. You just need to keep an eye on it. It should be roughly um, uh, 200 degrees depending on your oven obviously and uh, yeah in about 20 minutes time um, which for you is going to be a second uh, I'm going to come back to try this beauty okay so uh, welcome back so here we have it our magnificent eggplant parmesan or aubergine parmesan um, this you wouldn't believe the smell that comes out of it I can see the whole thing is the cheese is melted everything is like in harmony and um, let's see how, how that tastes and um, I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a very nice lunch yeah this is lunch time this is a very good vino verde and that goes with this dish 
my my friends and family which are vegetarians will absolutely love me today for this recipe this is this is a classic i mean there's there's a, a, a number of ways of, of doing this but obviously uh, this is this is my take on it and um i've, I've uh, cooked it a, a few times and i have i've had no complaints so far and um yeah so for all of you vegetarian guys if all vegetarian food was like this i would turn vegetarian in one day okay so let's see how this goes i have all these uh, so i have the different cheeses here i have my eggplant my tomato sauce the basil and the, and the garlic sauce um, the flavor to it let's see how this goes it's a bit uh, probably a bit too hot yet but uh, let's see i'll burn my mouth just for you don't worry about it here we go Oh my, oh my, just a second. I need another try. Oh my God, this is so good. I can't even explain it. It's like, it's one of those dishes that the great uh, Italian nonnas came up with it probably many, many decades ago, probably over a hundred years ago. They come up with it and it's just, it's just, you can feel in every bite the love of the Italian families coming together. You can picture yourself um, in a little Italian village um, somewhere on a Sunday evening where Nonna presents you with this, with this kind of dish. This is so, so good. This is so, talking about comfort food, I mean, this is, this really does bring you comfort and uh, trust me, it's really, really nice. Really easy to make as well as you see, uh, as you've seen, and uh, so yeah, by all means give it a go. Mm. If you can have some uh, vino verde or really crispy, um, actually, to be um, fair to the tradition, you probably should have it with the with the Pinot Grigio rather than than vino verde because obviously if we are on the Italian theme, that's what you should have, maybe. But yeah, white. Any kind, white, Zinfandel. Um, um, really crispy, white and, and, and cold and, and, and fresh. With this kind of, of dish, oh my God, you won't believe it. I'll see you on the next one. Please don't remember, uh, don't forget to, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, share with your friends and go on my website, uh, say, uh, and, uh, of your mind if you have a different version of this if you, if, if you want to share it with me by all means uh, please do either do it on the comments or do it straight onto the website and uh, I promise I'll come back to you um, and uh, yeah I even uh, give it a go if, if, um, if you have if you would like me to try a different uh, version of this uh, eggplant parmesan um, but by all means uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it share with your friends comment um, below and uh, subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't already, thank you for coming and thank you for watching this this um, uh, video as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.